Hey, it's Steve with DoingTheLocal.com. We are here on our first Zoom interview, and we're here with Amy Delory from Infinite Web Designs. And uh, these are some trying times, Amy, and for a lot of people, the routine is changing from their uh, sweatpants into their nighttime pajamas. What are some tips you can give people who are working from home for the very first time? Okay, well, that's a really good question. And coming from a seasoned work at home um, businesswoman, I have um, eight tips for you. You ready for them? Absolutely. Okay, so I've been um, working from home since 2001. So um, I feel like I've kind of not perfected, but I feel like I uh, kind of yeah, perfected the work at home routine. And so although I am a type A person in certain areas, I am not when it comes to, I can have dishes in the sink and not care. And, you know, I can have piles of laundry and not care. That's when I, what, when I've carved out time to work in or on my business. So the eight tips that I have for somebody working from home is to keep a tight calendar. So that's the number one, right? So schedule important events on your calendar, you know, even if it's personal events, like every morning, you know, that time slot moves, but I schedule time for me to work out. So my calendar is more of my personal and work calendar, but I do schedule my lunch breaks and I put in their water breaks so that, you know, if I um, am, you know, heads deep into, you know, working on a project and I can get hyper-focused, um, I have a calendar entry that says, hey, take a break, get some water, just so that I make sure that I'm maintaining my health um, and that I can continue, you know, fueling my body so that I can work. So. I do schedule all of those breaks in addition to the meetings that I have on my calendar. Um, I, this is like really number one for me. Um, and I put this, you know, as the first topic to talk about or the tip because when I didn't do this, I actually got really sick. Um, and I exhausted my body and I had health issues as a result of it. And so if you don't take care of yourself first and you don't put on your oxygen mask, you can't take care of others. So that's my first tip. You ready for my second one? Um, yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. So develop a breakdown on how your workday is going to be segmented, right? So being that I am the business development in, you know, in my business, Infinite Web Designs, I have a breakdown of, you know, what is the most important for me to keep my sales funnel fat and full. I need to really spend most of my time um, in, in my, with my sales hat on, right? And so 60% of my day is spent sales. And I'm not, I don't consider myself a salesperson, but I am business development. So 60% of my day is carved out. Um, doing business development. And then 30% of my day is um, carved out for research, education, bettering my knowledge and, you know, um, within my industry. And then 10% of that is email processing. Now, is every day like that? No. It's just kind of a rule of thumb. And I have a little notepad on my 60, 30, 10. And it just is a constant reminder for me um, of my focus, right? Breaking up there. Say that again, please. What am I saying again? Uh, just that last part because you kind of broke up there. Oh, okay. So, and every day is going to be different, right? So, you know, some days I might, I might flip flop and do most of my days research and development or education, and then 30% is sales. It's all going to depend, but at least I have a focus and a plan, right? Do you try Without to break that. it up? Do you try to break it up that way as well as saying, you know, okay, today I'm going to work on 
making contacts with this client or new clients? Uh, how do you map that out throughout the week? So um, that's a really good question. Thank you. Um, so on Wednesdays, I have it slated pretty much my entire day as IWD day. And on my calendar, if you were to look at it right now, it would say IWD day. So from 10 in the morning until 5, 5 in the evening, um, I slate Wednesdays to do a little bit more of updating my website, writing blog articles, um, content maybe I need to design a you know an image for a social media post or whatever so um, I do break it up in days of the week so Wednesday is in, in the middle of the week I find that Mondays I really need it more to be administrative to catch up with what came in late again so Mondays aren't a good day for me for that and then Tuesdays, I find that it's a really good, like more yeah. of that 60% of that sales, you know, um, model. Um, so every day is a little bit different, but I do have that in mind when I'm building my calendar um, so that I don't get too lopsided worrying about one thing. And then, you know, then my sales funnel, funnel goes a little too thin. Make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Now, what about Fridays? You mentioned Mondays, but what about Fridays? I find there's no sense in even trying to make contact with people on those days because even though we're in a society where we see our emails all the time, uh, I do tend to forget, you know, or others forget to call you on Monday on a Friday contact. Do you agree with that? Yeah, um, it's funny. It, it, it depends, you know, if it's a business owner that is like a single person, single run business, days um, are easier, uh, like Fridays later in the day are easier to get them because they're winding down their, their business close early or whatever, so that they'll, you know, they'll, they might reach out and call me and I'll take the call, not because I want to but I'll take the call because I know that it works for their schedule, okay. you know, so it's, it's very fluid. Um, but I typically don't do sales calls or business development on Fridays. Right. I try to leave that day a little bit more fluid. And I, you know, because I work sometimes 10, 12 hour days, I like to keep that. During the week, so I, I do got what you that. said there again. You're breaking up a little bit. I don't know. It sounds like a space. We're, we're in outer space, trying to make a connection to the moon or something. But uh, it's, my internet. I think people, yeah, I think people <laughs> just of everything. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. <laughs> okay, perfect. So what I was saying is, is also on Fridays, I try to leave it a little bit light, so that if I because I work 10, 12. My Fridays, sometimes if I want to relax or get a pedicure or, you know, just do some personal, personal pampering, I have that time where on Fridays, if I have a light day that I can do that. Right. It's catch up time too. That's how I look at it. And yeah. sometimes by Friday, you're just exhausted. You're happy not to make any connections. Exactly. So what else we got? So, um, one of the biggie things is, um, I, I try to change up my environment. So, uh, I have my home office, um, which is a designated room. I could close my door. My family knows if my door is closed, it doesn't bother me unless you're bleeding or, you know, dying. Um, <laughs> but, um, you know, when it's nice out and the weather permits, I will take a conference call out in the deck. I'll break Oh, yeah. and I'll sit out on the deck and get some vitamin D. Um, a couple of times I've worked from my boat. So yeah. I could go out in the Long Island Sound and I can connect and, and you know, connect with my phone and just hotspot and get some work done, you yeah, know. So technology has changed. I mean, you know, I was looking at uh, the pandemic as being a, a problem and then I found this uh program zoom and it just was like wow this opens all possibilities so you're the first one on it so i thank you for coming on and no uh, sharing your ideas so what else so um let's see so change up your environment i also um you know uh you know it, it, it 
for me, I find that it kickstarts creativity. It puts me in a different spot. It might, you know, spark something that, you know, if I were sitting, maybe I would have thought about with creativity or just So um, keep a clean and decluttered work environment is another one. Um, clean up your space, you know, keep it very null so you don't feel overwhelmed, you know, and you're not getting easily distracted. Right. Um, I read a book, I think it's called Lick, Lick the Toads. Um, there's another one, Eat, Eat. Oh, I think we lost you. You're frozen. Your frog. And um, it's, you know, can you make up? How about now, Steve? Can you hear yeah. me? Okay, now you're can back you again. <laughs> Okay, so, you know, keeping a clean work environment just helps keep a clean mind and a decluttered mind, and it just helps you do what you lost. need to do oh, um, a, little more, a little more easily. What's that? Uh, we keep losing you now. We're losing video and audio, so. Really? Yeah, so, okay. Uh, so in a pandemic with uh, being at home all the time, you should have a spotless, clean home nowadays right we've been home exactly. what three weeks now and, and yeah. kitchens, kitchens should be you know at the restaurant should be impeccable that none of them should be you know uh failing a test uh an inspection since you know they're all been closed or pretty much limited so yeah okay so yeah. so now you said you know keep your environment clean what else keep your environment clean one of the tips that i have um personally that i enjoy is i have a diffuser that diffuses um, essential oils into the air. So um, I run it on a daily basis. I have it going right now behind me and it just is aromatherapy, but um, it just helps, it helps me in Pick my work up. environment. Yeah, yeah. So find something that makes you happy. Maybe it's playing music. Um, you know, maybe it's a sound machine. Uh, whatever it is, makes you happy. Maybe it's hang a picture of a tropical destination or something somewhere where you want to go, you know, um, that just brings some brightness to your day. Exactly. So what else, what other tips? So also number, this is, this will be my fifth tip. Um, hang your company goals on a whiteboard and display it, you know, very easily from your desk so that your goals and making business decisions based on those goals. So that you're looking you at that, them. you're looking at posting those goals similar to, yeah, and then your daily calendar is how to get to that goal. Would you say is that exactly? Correct? Yeah, yeah. So every decision I make, I'm making sure that my it's aligned with my goals. Okay, yeah, okay. So, number six is put a filter on your inbox. I happen to use Gmail. And so it's really easy, if you're familiar with that platform, it's really easy to put filters and labels and tags uh, on your email. So that it I'm keeps still working on that, especially with the <laughs> press releases I get all the time. I, yeah. I, the box just gets so overwhelmed. Well, and, and they change it. They change the environment up. So then now you're lear relearning or trying to figure out where they put something or if they deactivated it. So it can be a little frustrating, but... It just helps me declutter my inbox. So I really focused on my clients first, and then you know, um, anthropology sec uh, <laughs> fifth. <laughs> you know, all of those all of those emails that come in. Um, so that was that was tip number six. Tip number seven. Tip seven is um, do not do not do not keep social media tabs open on your desktop. Um, they just are a black hole uh, and a time suck. So if you're working on your social media for your business, open it up, do what you need to do, but make sure you close it out and, and just be very conscious. Maybe it's set a timer. Um, just be very conscious that you do not run down that hole of um, so just don't don't keep those tabs open. Okay, and or schedule time to do social media on your. Yes, phone. exactly. 
Exactly. And then my last um, final tip is just make time for learning and continue education related to your industry. You know, find a webinar, um, connect with someone on Zoom like we're doing right now, which is great. Um, you know, I, I have found in my, I've been using Zoom for years, um, but I'm finding um, that my clients are being forced to do this. And so what it has created for me is an environment I could want to work with my clients. me time and money, gas money, and, and you know, um, can you hear me? Yeah, now I can. Oh, okay. It saves me time and, and gas and everything else to do it, to have a meeting this way. So I'm welcoming the change. Um, for a couple of different reasons and one of them is my clients are getting to condition to work virtually like I've been for years. You know, I'm in a networking group. We're still connecting virtually, which is great. Um, you know, so just Okay, and okay. so what else are you working on now? Oh, I am writing another blog. Uh -oh. Um, uh -oh. yeah, <laughs> uh, because in this in this environment, some businesses unfortunately had to close. Right, you don't you don't work, and it just means that you're shifting your work probably and not working um, in your business. You can still work on it's just going to be tips on ways that you can work uh, on your business instead of while you can't work in your business. And so mostly marketing things because that's what I'm, you know, that's my specialty. Um, and in hopes that, you know, we give tools um, away and hopes that I can help and do my part um, during all of this and share some knowledge and tools and help any small business that um, needs it. So that's what I'm working on. Wow, so you're always keeping busy and I, I you know, I, I thought this was gonna be a slow time for myself as well. Instead, you know, it's been actually busier, so not necessarily profitable, but in the future it probably will. So. You know, just keep plugging along and, you know, especially our small businesses right now, they're on, it's a challenging time. There's, I've never, ever, I'm older than you and this, I've never seen anything like this before. So, you know, yeah. I hope that maybe uh, when you have some more insight, you can come back on doing it local and share some more info with us. Um, uh, I'm sure people might have some questions I'd be that happy to. in the uh, questions below. And if you can come back and just yeah. make sure that you answer any of the questions. And, uh, you know, it's a pleasure having you on board. And if um, you come up with anything else, let us know. Yeah. And uh, check out, they can check out my website, post questions on there so I can answer them immediately if you want, um, infinitewebdesigns.com. And, um, yeah, I just want to be a resource for small businesses, especially well, we if appreciate I can help, that I anyway. will. And we'll post all the information, her Facebook and her uh, you know, web uh, links and stuff like that uh, in the comments, I mean, in the description below. So perfect. If we get any updates, I'll let you know on doing a local.com.